So I got it right here. Gas line antifreeze, 49 cents about 40 years ago. And on the back right here, it says it's uh, before each fill up, pour contents in container, vents gas line freeze up in carburetor icing just for this car right here. It's got a full seal on it. Oh, now why does it have that smell? It's from the 90s. From the 80s? Even more. Because look at the car. It smells like catfish bait or something. Things were more natural then. Oh, that smells awful. Oh, shut up! What the heck? We're on in there for that guy. Hello, I'm here with the car right now. Rust hole in the back. A tut on how to fix that rust hole easily with about five bucks. A local hardware store. Get this fixed up and I'm going to show you guys here where the rust is. It's a hole going out to the outside and it would fail inspection. Oh, just found a nickel. rust hole is about right here but well, then we also got a ton of rust right there we got rust down there oh and rust over there rust hole right here that would fail inspection carbon monoxide straight into the cab straight up my nostril man-eating hole right here and we also got a ton of rust over there all these freaking plants getting in here look how freaking worn out these shoes are oh my it's almost touching my feet i also don't have soles in there now Here's what you need right here. Metal repair tape, aluminum tape. You can pick that up at a hardware store for about five bucks. This may not stop the rust entirely, but it will allow you to pass inspection for several times, several more years. Millions of years. This car is literally from the 70s. A pair of scissors from the 40s. Full metal scissors, full metal tape. Let's get it on the car now. To make sure it adheres, you want to take a nice cotton cloth and wipe around the excess area. Wipe around the excess area to make sure the glue sticks from the tape. There we go. Go ahead and tape that sucker. Oh, dirt. go now you'll pass inspection for at least 15 more years there we go good enough to cook a little s'more sandwich on. i'm gonna go around and clean up the rest tape on over it you can see this stuff is literally ready to fall unless you want to go to the body shop and have them charge about four grand fix the whole trunk this is the best way to Found it. Another rust hole, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah. What's new nowadays? Oh, yeah. Going on, you little lemur. You know, I'm just enjoying the holiday season, it's scare season. Corian just got a new place here. We just sit on our hands. Where do you see yourself in 30 years? I'll play a live review for this show. The scissors at? Dang. Look at that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's a little door. <laughs> that ain't going anywhere. Oh, what the heck? There's so many dang holes. I want to just do this. Oh, look at that. I'm going to just put the scissors in there and tape it in. And why is there so much rust? And it's done. Come take a look at this. Where the hole was, it was right here. I went over it about five different times with the foil. There was another hole back there. I got that all taped up. You gotta go from the middle out. Preface here, you gotta fill it in. Very big hole there all the way up. And that rust back there, there was a hole up here. Hole there. Yep, can cook some food on it. All right, let's test it out. Ah! Tune in next.
next time for when I cut my dang muffler off. Oh, oh, yeah, the car's not gonna make it past that. Oh, I'm gonna. How we're doing this? Oh, no. And I just used the rest of the roll. Fill that up. Cleaned it all up with the tape. Got some more over here. And I think repairing all that rust in the trunk really amped up my sound system. Woof. Oh, yeah, the old Buick is getting some old, good old premium for the gas for intestine. That's what they get for surveillance. I nab it. Better think twice. Yeah, I'm about to pick this one up to my new daily driver. Sitting in the old suburban, kind of smells a little bit. Whoa, look at that! Now that is a nice touch. This thing on the road. Oh, oh. that is real wood right there. Oh, Once again. Yeah, that's that's not factory right there. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! I told you to turn that day camera off! Just off road the car again bottle of diesel fuel additive in the gas car. 96 oh yeah. That's how I pick up the ladies. Dirty left. Oh, he's still over there. So I guess maybe we'll go say hi to him or something. He drives the 96 Ford pickup. Oh, oh what'd you do to my truck? <laughs> Depends on how I'm feeling after Friday because I just said it's birthday so we're going to be going out. Is that Tony Hawk? Tony Hawk, do something cool. What were you saying about the vehicle? I said your vehicle got smashed or something. Bro, you better pay up. A uh, 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 few years of indentured slavery and he'll be fine. Oh, nice. First thing first, boy thing is silent. Heading to his and night. That day outside, warm out. Uh, Viking, <laughs> little. Give me a call back. 5.9 Magnum, let's do it. Huh? Pop evil. Dirk's like, got very shy. He's like, oh, we're just so. <laughs> That one he makes money. That like, one is weird. Like, yo, I'm so sure. I'm afraid that the wrong person sees it, though. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> what year car was that that drove by? In the 30s or 40s. So I thought about. Yeah, then at first you're like, yo, dude, what is up, man? Not only dip spit and fermenting for two years. And you drank it. <laughs> there it is. Is this good, dude? Are we going to. Get away from me, and now he's nowhere to be found. I don't know where he is. <laughs> What's going on right now? But yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, don't count the road, buddy. Yeah. Live up to the music you listen to, asshole. They call him metal. I'm about to be some. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my hey. god. <laughs> 